Let's record store reviews. Well, you guys remember a couple weeks ago I had said something <clears throat> about hitting 10,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers. It's going back up to 10 now. Wishful thinking, I know. If you guys have people that like tools, tell them to check out Ford's Tool Reviews. Now, there's something else that you should know. After being in conference with, I'm the ruler of the channel. I'm the owner of the channel. After hashing it out, talking... I'm thinking of expanding my YouTube channel to, say, Ford's Tool Reviews and Automotive Mechanics. Am I going to do that? Probably not anytime soon, but it's on the books. It's an idea. It's on the books. It'd be cool. I've got two different cars that I can work on that I own. Well, that belonged to me. And I have so many people asking me what my daily driver is. Let's go ahead and do that. What does Ford from Ford's Tool Reviews drive daily? Well, I'm not going to reveal that until we hit 10,000 subs. There you go. There it is. 10,000 subscribers. I will do a video sitting on my car or truck or SUV. Nobody knows what I drive. Put a comment in the comment section if you think you know what I drive daily. Year, make, model, trim. Only I know. Until that point, no vehicle videos will be made. And there's two reasons for that. One, one of my vehicles have a, has a very tragic story. Number two, I don't want to reveal it until we get a large subscriber base. So if you don't hit that subscribe button, no one will ever know what Ford drives from Ford's tour reviews. Nobody will know. 1,000 subscribers. Hold me to this, guys. 1,000 subscribers. And I will reveal. I will reveal what my main daily driver is and my secondary vehicle is. It's going to be cool. I, I can guarantee you that's it's going to be cool. But none unless you smash that subscribe button. Now, I hear a lot of people talking to me all the time about Ford. You always go to Harbor Freight. You always go to Harbor Freight. You always go to Harbor Freight. Why are you going to Harbor Freight? Are you biased? Do you have a love affair with Harbor Freight? No. No. I don't. I think Harbor Freight is a great place to buy tools. But I do not have a love affair with Harbor Freight. Why I go to Harbor Freight Tools is to save money. I promise that I will do a video in the future next time I go to Lowe's. I will do a walk around in the tool section and the next time I go to Home Depot I will go to the tool section, and if I get time, I will go to uh, Northern Tool and walk around. But these places are basically the same as retail. And let's be honest real quick. Harbor Freight and Northern Tool are pretty much the same place. Sorry if that offends anybody. It's the truth. They have the same dadgum irons and lift at both retailers. Not saying they're exactly the same, but they're almost almost identical. 
As for the uh, tool bench, it's destroyed. Somebody destroyed it. Somebody came into the woods and destroyed my tool bench. It's gone. I tried to rebuild it. I cut my finger in the process. Right there. It's toast. It happened about four or five days ago. So, if you guys want to know what Ford from Ford's tool reviews drives, I have some commemorative decals of what I drive, but I'm not going to show them in the video <laughs> of at least one of my vehicles. And I am waiting for it. I am so waiting for it because so many people are going to view this and so many people are going to chew me out for what I drive. It's going to be crazy. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. To each, her, to each his own, I guess. But, uh, one other question. Um, are there any more tools I want from Harbor Freight? Um, one. There's one more. Um, I would like the um, regular ratcheting stair wrenches combo kit that they sell at Harbor Freight. The uh, pit My dad has the Craftsman version, and as much as I like Craftsman, I don't. And I'm I apologize for the terrible lighting. As much as I like Craftsman, I don't like Craftsman enough to spend 70 bucks on spanners. No. If, if, if you buy spanners for 70 bucks, it's free country. You can do what you want. I'm not trying to upset any of my subscribers or future subscribers. But Ford is not going to do that. There's another sub uh, surprise that we will hit at 10,000 subs, and that's going to be a surprise. So tell your YouTube community to hit the subscribe button, and all will be revealed. 10 million subscribe, or I'm sorry, 10,000 subscribers. Ford will reveal everything. His daily driver, his secondary driver. A couple of other things you won't know if you hit that's if you don't hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you want but hit the subscribe button as I said I'm trying to upload at least two to three times a week because life is so crazy but and real quick I want to talk about this set schedule time um Here's the thing, I don't have one. <laughs> I'm probably going to start uploading on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for three times a week. By the time you guys see this, it will be Monday. This is uploading on Monday morning, early Monday morning. So, um, but like I said, there are so many things. Ford, what is your daily driver? Hit the subscribe button, 10,000 subscribers, you'll see. Ford, what is your secondary daily driver, or secondary driver? Hit that subscribe button, you'll see. Ford, um, which do you prefer, Ford or Chevy? I mean, so many questions. Hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. What are your other what? <laughs> Family Guy moment. Um, sorry, I don't watch that. But um, what else? What other kind of hobbies do you do besides tools? What do you do besides building things? What do you do with your time? Hit the subscribe button. I have something really special I want to show you guys as a hobby. Um, don't worry, it's safe. Um, but you won't know unless you hit that. Unless you hit the subscribe button. 
hit the subscribe button. I will reveal one thing in this video. Somebody had commented recently on my videos and said that I look like I'm 18. That's cute. No, I will go, I'll go, you know what? As a freebie, I will reveal my age. Something I wouldn't normally do. He said I looked like I was 18. And called me a kid. I am not 18, contrary to the horrible background in my room. I am 23 and a half. I don't, I know I don't look like I'm 23 and a half. We've established that with the YouTuber. I am 23 and a half. I know my room doesn't look like one for a 23 year old, but we just didn't have the money to change it back. So, I am 23. That is the only thing you'll know about me. You don't even get to know my name. My name name. Remember Unbox Therapy with Jack? Think of Jack when you think of Ford's tour reviews. And hit the subscribe button if you want to know what my if you want to know what my daily driver is, if you want to know what my second driver is, and if you want to know my name, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And my other hobbies. I've got a couple of them sitting over here. They're sitting over here. They're actually on the wall. Literally on the wall. So, I mean, that's all I got for you guys. I'm Ford, or am I? Tell your fellow YouTubers to look up Ford store reviews. Tell your fellow YouTubers to look up stuff. Like I said before, I'll rehash this one more time. Ford Store Reviews does not have a set schedule of when he's going to upload a video. I don't have one yet. I'm trying to go around with other stuff and um, deal with other stuff. One thing somebody had asked me in the comments was, am I in cahoots with Ford Motor Company. No. <laughs> no. Not at all. Really be cool if I was, but no. I'm not that Ford. Or am I? Subscribe. <laughs> you may never know. Unbox Therapy just quit doing this, and now Ford's Tour Reviews is doing all of this mystery stuff that you guys have to subscribe. And we have to hit over a thousand subscribers before anything gets revealed. Until then, Tour Reviews. I'm so anxious. <laughs> I'm so anxious to do other stuff with the channel. Now, I, here's another thing too, Ford's Tour Reviews uh, channel, updates for the channel, not very many of them, except for one, due to the almost small lack of subscriptions, Ford's Tour Reviews is thinking of expanding from Tour Reviews and this, or that, or the other. A uh, good example of this would be like a collaboration channel of, well, I'll just throw one out there. Not that I support or, or don't support it, but guns and guitars, I guess. That's a good example. Or uh, zip ties and bias flies. They're really good. I'm subscribed to them. They swear a lot, though. <laughs> like I said, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of swearing. I know people do it, but 
I don't. So, if you guys want to see more content, if you want to see my daily drivers, camera's going out of focus. I'm not quite sure why. There we go. Then hit the subscribe button. That's you got your face reveal. Now you're subscribing for the name reveal. Sorry if this video is a little long, guys, but it could be worse. I try to make these smaller, but there's so much I want to reveal. And uh, I guess with that, I'm going to end the video right here. Subscribe, like the videos, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Be respectful in the comment section. Peace. Take care.